In our first story, we meet Deborah Logan, who sees potential where others might see impossible. You see, she found a new career life by giving new life to old furniture. Well, nowadays, people seek her help when they've got a well-worn heirloom in need of a makeover. Maybe you know the feeling. You got this old piece of furniture that's too old and funky to use anymore, but just don't have the heart to get rid of it. Well, maybe you don't have to. Deborah Logan believes every old tattered piece of furniture deserves a fresh new life. That's why after working in television production and later in a medical field, she made a long overdue change. I've always, always loved to doodle, paint, draw, and it just came to a point in my life where I knew I needed to try maybe to start a little business. And I had so much encouragement and support from so many friends and family that uh, I couldn't, I couldn't not do it. So she loaded up her home studio with special tools and equipped her garage with an electric sander. This one attaches to a vacuum that increases the efficiency and speed. After sanding and adding a coat of primer to this chest, she applies the first of two coats of chalk paint. It's got a soft matte finish that can be used to give furniture a distressed look. I have a couple of clients that just drop pieces and say, do what you want to do. And then some have d definite ideas in mind. It's usually a traditional look. I tend to be more artsy, and sometimes I think I need to tone it back. But there are clients that do like that, and I have free reign to do what I want to do. I painted a medicine cabinet, and it was my hairstylist. And she said, just do it. Do whatever you want to do with it. And it's very bright. She likes bright colors. I just sold a piece that had been sitting on someone's front porch for years, and it was looked like it had a disease. And I stripped it, and it's just very cute, and sold it. Not for much, but just, I, and she's so happy. She's going to put it um, at her farm. So that's, that's what's fun. This is called Mama's Butter, and it just protects and deodorizes and just brings out the wood grain. And it just seems like the wood soaks it up. She adds an artistic touch to these drawers, first with a stencil, then with a couple of transfers. These add some newfound personality and color. Each project is unique, and so is the journey from this to this. So what's the most fun part when you get started or when you get finished? <laughs> uh, well, let me tell you what the least favorite part is, is stripping paint. That is my least favorite part. The fun part is just the details and, and what you come up with. And sometimes you don't know Halfway through, you might change your mind, but it's just paint. You can you can change it. And my pieces are, I call them imperfectly perfect because they're not perfect. So far, all of her advertising has been word of mouth, but the word's gotten out. And now new and repeat clients are seeking out Deborah's transformation talent. At this shop on Columbia Avenue in Franklin, she displays and sells some examples of her work on consignment. Furniture, of course, as well as some wall hangings. Customers can pick up something like this now one-of-a-kind chest for less than they'd pay for a new one. But the real payoff for Deborah Logan is transforming a new client's time-warm heirloom into a new source of pride and pleasure. And it's just a privilege when they bring a piece to you that they don't want to throw away or it is a family heirloom and they give you uh, an opportunity to revive it and make it pretty again. Time to start something new, something more creative. Um, and it's, I've not regretted it at all. It's been so much fun. <laughs>